Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, good morning. You'll often hear me talk about the wire and conduit articles in the code book, and I'll say, go check it out. Go check it out. You're going to love it. It explains all about it. Well, today we're going to actually break it down, and technically it's the cable type and raceway articles of the code book and we're talking about in chapter three of your code book there are a bunch of different articles for specific types of cable and there are articles for specific types of raceways and today we're going to break down all the different cable types in each one of these cable types you may find the following information now not every one of them has one of these dot sections but if it does this is what it's going to be most likely so in each one of these articles you could have a dot two section that's going to be the definition of the cable if you're wondering what any one of these cables are you can go to that dot two section and it will just tell you the general definition of that cable you could have a dot 10 section which is the uses permitted where am i allowed to use this cable where am i not allowed to use this cable also dot 12 is the uses not permitted where am i not allowed to use this cable and what manner am i not allowed to use this cable also Securing and supporting in dot 30, which is super important. How often do I have to strap it? By what means must it be strapped? And also, if it has one sec a, a, a section, there is a dot 80 section, and that's going to be your rules and prescription for ampacity. How to deal with this? Do I choose from the 60? Do I choose from the 70? Am I allowed to use the 90 degree C column for ampacity bundling adjustments and temperature corrections? That will let you everything that you need. Let you know everything that you need to know about that type cable. Now, let's jump into the type cables. Article 320, AC, armored cable. Article 322, FC, flat cable assembly. Article 324, FCC, flat cable conductor, conductor cable. Article 326, IGS, integrated gas spacer cable. Article 328, MV, medium voltage cable. Article 330, MC, metal clad cable. Article 332, MI, mineral insulated metal sheath cable. Article 334, NM, NMC, NMS, non-metallic sheath cable, Bromax. Article 336, TC, power and control tray cable. Article 338, SE and USE, service entrance cable. And Article 340, UF, underground feeder and branch circuit cable. So this is all of the cable types that you're going to find in the NEC that have their own specific article. If you have a dot two, it's gonna tell you the definition of each one of those cables. A dot 10 is going to tell you the use is permitted. A dot 12 is gonna tell you the use is not permitted. The dot 30 is going to tell you how to secure and support it. The dot 80 is going to tell you the impacity, how you deal with the impacity of that conductor. Tomorrow, we're going to be covering the raceway types. We're going to go through all of those articles. I was just hoping that this would be a reference to you and add a little bit of value to you. I really encourage you today to go and check out each one of these respective articles, it, you know, especially the ones that you use the most often. Maybe go check out UF. Read the dot 10 and dot 12 sections. It takes like 30 seconds to read it and you'll find some information that you never knew or a place you could use the cable that you didn't know you could use it. It's super informative and it's a lot of fun. These are probably some of the most informative articles of the code book. And when you get down in there, I'm telling you, it'll help you grow and it'll add more value to you. And my bargain is, is that you'll turn around and add value to others. I am the electrical code coach and I just wanna see you guys win. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I want you to know that I'm praying for you today. And if there's anything that I can help you, you can always just email me. You guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Keep fighting the good fight. Let's get to it.